is a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship there See how I live with every piece of you Don't underestimate the things that I would do There is a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark the scars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could have had it all Rolling in the deep You had my heart inside your head But you played it Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Big thank you to Selena for joining me for the intro demo for you guys. Uh, this is a great tune to do. Girls love singing this song, so if you're doing a duo with a girl or you are a girl and you want to learn to play this to play and sing at the same time, it's a real cracker. It's got an interesting little quirk in the rhythm, right? The chords aren't hard, it's not difficult to play, but it does. it's going to take you possibly a little bit of time to get used to where these chords change a little bit late. Right? It's, it's cool, but uh, those of you with a songbook, it's written out for you really clearly. On one, Just turn the page over from where all the lyrics and chords are and you'll see the little verse sequence written out for you nice and clearly because it's, it's just a little bit unusual. It sounds great, you know, but uh, it is definitely unusual. So the first thing to realize is the intro part. The very intro is just a C power chord. But we're putting a little bit of palm mute on though. So we're using the kind of the outside palm of our picking hand just resting on the strings ever so lightly, kind of deadens them up without it, with it. Right, so a little bit of palm mute helps. The intro is just a couple of bars of C, power chord up at the eighth fret. Now the chord sequence for the verses is going C, G, B flat, G, B flat, and back to C again. So it's just C. G, B flat, G, B flat, and back to C, right? What's interesting to realize is that all of the chords change one beat, well, half a beat late, except for the C chord. So I'm going to count along with it now, so hopefully you'll kind of get what I'm talking about. So it's going one and two and three and four and 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 right so you can hear it kind of just jumps a little bit each time So that's the thing that you've got to practice, especially if you're going to sing this as well. You need to be really, really well practiced on that first, right? So learn the sequence, practice, make sure that you know where the chords are, and I would recommend counting along as you play it, because it's a really good way of learning these kind of rhythmic things. If you, if you just try and do it by thinking about it, it's nowhere near as easy as if you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and two and three and four and one and two. That's definitely the way to do it, right? Counting out loud and getting through that rhythm. So it's a really big deal. So that's the verses. Now, after it's done that a uh, few times, two, three, two times or four times? Two times. Uh, four times, sorry, because there's two verses before we get to the pre chorus. Now, the pre chorus, we've, we're changing from power chords to uh, proper bar chords, but we don't want to be strumming them too big yet because we want to leave that for the chorus We want the big strummy full chords for the chorus so it really lifts. So the pre-chorus is kind of getting from muted power chords into 
slightly more open but not, you know, still using a bit of palm mute, I'm just strumming a few more of the notes in there. The chords are A flat. The scars of B flat remind me G minor. Keep me A flat that almost had it A flat again. Da da B flat, lovely. Keep me B, uh, G minor to G7. Let me talk that through again because it's difficult for me to sing it and play it. So A flat, B flat. G minor, A flat, A flat again, B flat, G minor, to G7, big build up there on the G7 because we're getting into the chorus, right, so A flat, B flat, G minor, A flat, A flat, B flat, G minor, G7, right? that's the sequence for the pre-chorus, now when we get to the chorus, the sequence is C minor, B flat, A flat, then half a bar of A flat, half a bar of B flat, and again, C minor, B flat, A flat, half a bar of A flat, half a bar of B flat, and we're back to the C minor. The very first time we go to the C minor, I tend to play C minor here, just because we've gone G7, I'm in the same fret to just move over to our uh, C minor there, rather than having to go G7 and jump right up the neck. Right, so I'll go to C minor here first, then I've got to, still got to jump to the B flat, but it's not too bad. A flat, A flat, B flat, and now I'm just going to move up the neck and play C minor up further up the neck. So actually within the same chorus, we're playing C minor down here, and we're playing C minor up here. And they both, you know, they both work. You can choose which one you want to do if you particularly like the sound of one or the other, but otherwise you can just be sticking with that, you know. Um, so let me play through now. Intro, verse, I'm just going to do one verse. There's two on the record. Then the pre-chorus and the chorus. And I want you to be aware of how I'm playing it as well, the dynamic thing. So the counting and the rhythm of the verse, first verse, where the uh, chords are changing in the funny places, and then slightly developing the chords a bit for the pre-chorus, and then letting it all hang out for the chorus, right? Getting in there and strumming a lot bigger. It's all just still down strums, right? But you're just kind of giving it a little bit more in the chorus, you know, and you can experiment a bit with the accenting thing and that, you know, there's quite a few different ways of varying it if you choose to. So, that's the intro. Now the verse. So hopefully there you can, I was kind of trying to mumble the words through a little bit so you could pitch where the, you know, knew where the melody was in relation to the song and the chords. Uh, but uh, you can hear that there's, you've got to kind of play with the dynamics a bit there. So you, the choruses are kind of, you know, down a little bit, and the, sorry, the verses are down a little bit and then gradually building it up a bit, build up, build up, and then you're into the chorus, you know. So it's, that's the kind of a big deal for these kind of tunes if you're doing if you want to perform them with someone, you know, they're the kind of things that really make it sound like great, rather than just playing the chords kind of this, with the same dynamic all of the way through it. We'll get a little on the boring side. So uh, that's the tune. Just copying those bits around. If you listen to the recording, I'm sure you'll hear pretty obviously how they're working. Uh, hope you enjoy playing this tune, and I'll see you for another song or lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <laughs>